Peace family. So um in another sad report, arrests have been uh, reportedly made in an incident where a 14-year-old was stabbed to death in a Birmingham street during the altercation. It says boys aged 13 or 14 are among six people who were arrested over this murder. It also says that there was a 38-year-old man arrested and two other men aged 36 and 35. So, you know, first and foremost, we want to say rest in peace and condolences to the family of the youngster who lost his life. Definitely in a sad situation, trying to find out some more information on this. This will be reported on the Mail Online that six people, including two teenagers, have been arrested on suspicion of murder after a 14-year-old was stabbed to death in the street during what's been dubbed as a gang fight. So um, we have seen an earlier report saying it was a gang of white people against a black kid. Now this report is saying that they don't believe it was racially motivated in this attack. It also says this happened in the King Standing area of Birmingham. It says that a 13 year old was detained in the Warsaw area while the 14 year old was arrested along with a 38 year old man in a vehicle in Cheshire. And it says two men aged 36 and 35 surrendered to separate police stations in the West Midlands. A 33 year old man was also arrested in the King Standing area and all six suspects still currently remain in custody. So witnesses, it says, claimed a gang of white lads killed the 40 year old boy like a pack of feral animals. So um, witnesses say the boy who died was black but police ruled out a racially motivated attack, but continue to hunt up to seven suspects. So definitely a sad incident, which happened, it said around 7.30 on Monday, in the aftermath of a large street fight, it says near McDonald's on College Road, King Standen, it's thought the schoolboy who has not been identified had previously been targeted by a gang at his school with his family due to meet police before he was fatally attacked. So we don't know if this is some kind of ongoing incident that's been happening. And, um, you know, maybe having trouble living in a particular area, who knows? They say it wasn't racially motivated, but, you know, dealing with groups and gangs, you know, sometimes these things can have its implication. So um, it says police have launched a murder investigation. And here we see some pictures from the assailants, I'm guessing. Which would be the scene of, um, I'm guessing the scene of the crime, so. Yeah, so we wanna see rest in peace. It says he was believed to be playing football with his friends when he was jumped by Yabs as he made his way home. Sadly, he was pronounced dead in the street from knife wounds despite the effort of paramedics. said one mother who did not wish to be named said it was carnage when she looked out of her window there was kids everywhere they were like a pack of feral animals the way they were swarming around her so it says apparently a gang of white lads just jumped in i don't know how many had knives but this is just terrifying he was only a child you know 40 years old Detective Chief Inspector Stu Mobley, who is leading the investigation, said the force were aware that there had been speculation in the community, but ruled out that it was a racially motivated attack. So they don't explain why it's been ruled out. They say speculation. It was also earlier asserted that he had had some kind of problems in the past, whether that be at school or maybe in the local area. We're unsure, I'll try to get some more information on this. Community activist Desmond Jadu has said, I was here last night with the boy's mother and friends who had gathered and they were naturally inconsolable. She has lost a 40 year old boy who had his whole life ahead of him and will never return home. There are questions being asked 
of the police an incident which happened last week at school so there was an incident at school which maybe this spanned off from he says i can't handle any more than that but there are major concerns about how that was handled or oh, i can't say any more than that i'm sorry so um he says if this does reveal itself to be a racially motivated crime west Midlands police need to treat you with the utmost seriousness tensions are already high in the community you know so as we see you know in the uk Birmingham, as well as other places reportedly around the world, in Americas and, and other places, you know, tensions high between people, especially coming out of a, um, a global pandemic. You know, a lot of people have been, um, you know, frustrated, locked up, so to speak, for a, a period of time. And, you know, a lot of people are out roaming now and, and just, um, so you definitely got to stay safe while we're out here on these streets. So. Other residents, it says in this report, living near the scene, reacted with horror to the brutal stabbing on their doorstep. One who wished to remain anonymous said, I didn't see what happened, but I am told a car pulled up at some point and loads of blokes jumped out. So whether that's possibly the older guys that it says they've arrested, because it did name a couple of 30 odd year olds. There was absolutely loads of people around in the aftermath. I just saw people running in all different directions. If it's racially motivated, it's like the Stephen Lawrence thing. It wouldn't surprise me around here. I've been in tears for his family. He was just 14 years old. His life had not even begun. The death of the schoolboy has prompted an angry response in the city with many calling for stricter knife crime laws following the tragedy. One social media user wrote that poor boy, he's just a child. I hate the thought of his final moments. Thoughts with the family, such a tragedy. Another added RIP, yet again, another person who has been taken from his family. What is this country coming to? No one deserves this. I hope the people who have done this get caught and have the book thrown at them, name and shame them. Absolutely terrible news, 14 is no age. I have a child amongst almost this age breaks your heart our kids are growing up in such a messed up world r.i.p little man thoughts are with his family and friends at such a sad time a third had commented another said evil scumbags r.i.p to the poor soul and heartfelt condolences to the family who now have to deal with this utter heartbreak so yeah such a sad report police have since said that a group of up to seven people ran off in the direction of chester road the force said they immediately launched a murder investigation and flooded the area with officers in search of those responsible. Officers were speaking to witnesses and fast-tracking CCTV inquiries. Stu Mobley, the detective, chief inspector who was leading the investigation, has since said, we made rapid progress in the investigation already and are following up a number of really strong lines of inquiry. We know their tensions and emotions are high and we're aware that there is some speculation in the community that this was a racially motivated attack. At this moment, there is nothing to suggest that this is a racially motivated attack. What we do know is that this was appalling violence which has cost a young lad his life. We still have witnesses to speak to and I'd urge anyone with information to get in touch with us as quickly as possible so that we can arrest those involved in this appalling attack. So, uh, I'm guessing at this time a post would have been held and um, you know you can see the information here if anybody has any information you can contact Crime Stoppers anonymously on 0800 555 111 or 101 it says quote in log number 3313 uh I think with an extension, three one slash five. So um, yeah, we want to say rest in peace to the young man who's lost his life. And um, you know, I don't, I, I don't really give too much of my opinion on this situation. You know, because there's so much that's been said and so much that's being said. But I do want to say to people, you know, stay safe out there, stay diligent, and. Um, just be aware that in these times, there's um, a lot of crazy people out there on the streets of all kind of walks of life. So 
we're really living in like a critical sort of time right now but at the same time we gotta stay positive as best as we can I know it's always cliche and it's easy to say that especially in these kind of situations you know where do we find light in these dark times but um I just want to say keep the faith everybody stay you know positive the best you can condolences to the young soldier who lost his life and you know peace and blessings to his family and hopefully those responsible are brought into reprimandation and face a penalty and justice is served you know we've seen so much things happen over the years you know Stephen Lawrence was mentioned just last year in the states we've seen other things with George Floyd now this attack they say it wasn't racially motivated they have it labeled as a um gang attack but it doesn't look good at the end of the day you know if it's um we live in a, a so-called diverse time now and in, in a lot of the inner city streets you've got youngsters who mix and you know so even within gangs you don't necessarily have gangs with people of one nationality or ethnicity so in these kind of situations where we're seeing like youth and older people ganging up and we don't know the whole situation whether it was you know some kind of face off or altercation and that's what's happened mm -hmm. happened you know but it doesn't look good it doesn't sound good and at the end of the day it isn't good regardless you know people um behaving like animals on the streets so um peace to the family stay up stay woke and always look out for you folks <laughs> Peace family, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.